Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell, then click all. Thanks! Hi everyone, welcome back. And in this video, I am going to be showing you how I attempt to draw and paint Peter Cottontail. Now, a lot of you people might be familiar with Beatrice Potter's books on Peter Cottontail. Well, I wanted to try to recreate him on my nail for Easter. And I did create him to a point. So I still felt like the footage was worth showing you because, you know, sometimes when we do nail art, things just don't always turn out the way we plan and we scrap it, we forget about it and maybe come back and try it again later. And that's my plan to, to try it again later. So what I do is I look on my phone for a picture of Peter Cottontail, one that I like, think that I could draw and paint. And then I painted my nail a light color so that my painting will show up because it's going to be a watercolor. And I take a pencil and I sketch in Peter Cottontail to where I think it looks pretty good. And the whole time I'm looking at the photograph on my phone and I'll start painting him. Now I'm using gel polishes from Madame Glam and how I thin the gel polishes down to make them watercolor is I either use isopropyl alcohol or you can use like a top coat, a clear top coat and do it that way. Using a clear top coat helps you to blend it too. But I believe in this video, I use the isopropyl alcohol. I decided to keep the video in real time and not speed up any of it, just so you could see how I do things. The video isn't too long. I think it's like eight minutes. But anyways, I'm gonna leave you here and then let you watch. And if I need to come back in between things and talk to you, I will. Remember, you have to keep watching till towards the end to see where I failed at. <laughs> And now I'm going to cure this layer for 30 seconds. This is the second layer and I am really starting to love how this is looking.
I cured the second layer and now it's time to do some outlining and some detail work and bring Peter Cottontail to life. And I'm using a very fine liner brush and black gel paint. Okay, now this is where it went bad, his eyes, okay? I didn't show you me drawing his eyes in, but it just went bad from there. His eyes just, yeah, they don't look right. <laughs> if you compare him to the photograph on the right, my Peter Rabbit looks like an evil Peter Rabbit. <laughs> No wonder Mr. McGregor does not want him in the garden. I wouldn't want him in the garden either. But no, really. Uh, I wasn't satisfied with the eyes. I thought he looked too evil and angry. So I scrapped it. I quit doing it and I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to try it again because I think it's cute. I love Peter Cottontail. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. and. Do realize that not everything turns out the way you want it, but we got to keep trying and we got to keep practicing. And thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.